had different. This is crazy. So we got a lot of changes in this game right now, right? Like, we got, we got India that locked everything down. India is locked down. Like, there's no, that's, that's a billion something people that they're telling, that they're trying to control there to avoid the spread of this virus. Right now, we just hit over a thousand deaths in Florida. Um, it's getting crazier, right? Like, we already have a curfew here now. There's a curfew in Miami from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. If you're caught outside, law enforcement will be asking you what's going on with you outside for. So you will be challenged. Um, man, New York is getting hit. They're thinking about New Orleans is probably next. Running out of respirators. We're out of it, we need more. Gloves, mask. It's crazy. Yeah, we need more. These numbers are going up. But of course, because people don't know if they have it or not. And you got to expect these numbers to start skyrocketing. What I didn't expect is for <laughs> Uncle Trump to be like, yo, we're going to get this done by Easter. Easter is April 12th. Weren't they just saying that this is probably going to last until July? Jeez. Yeah, if you're trying to file for unemployment right now, <laughs> you're probably going to hit the same blockage that everyone else is hitting. The operator, then the phone disconnects, or the website server is crashing. On average, it's 250 to 1,000 people applying for unemployment on a given day. Right now, we're four times that. No one has a job. We're all in the same boat. Damn, that's crazy. Funniest thing is that I let go of mine before all of this. And to see that as this now is kind of like, damn. It's pretty crazy. But you know what? It's going to get crazy. Oh, it's going to get crazy. Because we're fighting an invisible enemy, like they say, you know? The whole world just paused. <laughs> you got people stuck in houses with people they don't even love. Yeah, it happens. Just gotta be careful. I don't know, it's tough. It's like you gotta change your whole lifestyle. It's a whole new way of living. The social distancing thing. It's a whole new way of living. People just aren't used to it. You gotta keep that distance. And then, some people are caretakers of their parents now, right? So it's like, how do you take care of your parent? 
without, you know, knowing that you're probably a vector for this virus that could lead to them getting it. I know one thing, I feel bad for these hospitals and just want to take the time out to empower nurses, yo, and these healthcare workers. They're risking their lives. A fucking... A Florida doctor died. Pronounced dead. I'm telling you, it's a... If there's one thing we can take from this, this virus doesn't care it's how rich you are or how poor you are or your ethnicity or how much power you have. It's getting you. It's getting you. You breathe it in, it's getting you. It's a respiratory virus, so it's getting in through any way that it possibly can. Not quite sure about blood though, but those droplets that come out when we cough, yeah. I guess the biggest thing is how much of those droplets would it take? Crazy stuff. Other than that though, it's your boy Zocardier. That's my little daily walk and talk about this because yo it's getting something's just not <laughs> something's not adding up but the way uncle trump talking guess we gotta wait to see what happens on easter it's your boy zocardier i'm out <laughs>